So I'm guessing you got a Cricut Joy before you realized that the Cricut Joy does not have the capability for print and cut. However, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you a hack on how you can get around that and actually use the print and cut feature on your Cricut Joy. If you are new here, my name is Lauren and I'm a craft producer here at Makers Gonna Learn where we bring you inspiration, motivation, and education to get your Cricut out of the box and start using it. If you have not already, make sure you hit that thumbs up button to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell notification to make sure that you get notified every time we get crafty. Now before we jump into teaching you how to use this print and cut hack for your Cricut Joy, let's go overhead and go over all of the materials that you're going to need to get started. Now that we're here, as you can see, there's not really that much that you need. Obviously, you are going to need printable vinyl sticker paper. This is the HTV Ront brand that we really like. We also love the Zakoto brand. This is just what we had handy. This is the glossy white version that we're going to be using today you are going to need to use a mat for this. Now, you can see I already have this light grip mat set up for what we are doing. So I'm actually gonna be doing this on the standard grip mat. Either one of these will work for creating your print and cut stickers with your Joy, but you are going to need one of the um, four and a half by 12 inch mats for the Cricut Joy to get the most out of this experience. You're also gonna need some type of masking tape. Now this is okay whether you use regular masking tape or the blue painter's tape, whatever you have on hand will be fine, but it does need to be some type of masking tape. And then finally, you're gonna need either a paper trimmer or a pair of scissors to cut your printable vinyl down to fit within this box. Now that we've gone over all of the materials that we need, let's go ahead and hop over into Design Space so that I can start teaching you this amazing print and cut hat for your joy. Now that we're here in Design Space, we're gonna go up here to the top right hand corner and we're gonna make sure that this says Joy. Now this is where you're gonna toggle between the different machines. So if you do have different machines, you are gonna be familiar with this. However, if you only have the Joy, make yourself familiar with this area because we are gonna have to toggle between the Joy and either the Cricut Explorer or Cricut Maker series for this hack. So, but first off, we're gonna make sure that we are on the Cricut Joy. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to our basic shapes, and we are going to grab a square or a rectangle, either one is fine. I'm gonna grab the square right here because it does have the sharp edges, and I'm going to click Unlock. If you are familiar with the Joy, you know that the mat size is four and a half, meaning the largest width that you can cut is going to be 4.25. So we're gonna put 4.25 in the width here. Now for the height, if you are familiar with print and cut, if you are printing on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, the largest you can print on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper is going to be 9.25 in height. So now we are going to place that at 9.25. And this is going to be ready for your mat. Now, this is the first step. We are creating this because we are going to create the area on the Cricut Joy mat that we can place our print and cut stickers. So now that we have a rectangle with a 4.25 or four and a quarter width and a 9.25 or nine and a quarter height, we are going to go to make it. We're doing this on the mat and we are going to click confirm because we are doing this on a four and a half by 12 inch mat. So now that we have that there, we are going to go overhead. Now that we're overhead, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be preparing this mat so that it will end up looking like this light grip mat. And what you're gonna do is you're going to take your masking tape and we are gonna tape it along the edges of where this is going to cut. So we're gonna start out on this side and just tape it along this edge. And then of course across the top and then the other edge. Now there are a couple different ways that I have seen people do this. Um, and all of them have worked out great. This is just the way that I thought would be a really good idea 
to prepare your mat because some of the ways that people do these is they'll take a Cricut pen and it will draw on your mat. That works just as well. Um, but I thought we would do it this way so that we could teach, I could teach you how to prepare this and not have to draw on your mat and possibly ruin it. So we're just using this masking tape as a guide of where we're going to be able to place our stickers once we have them printed. Now this one is going to be, remember it's going to cut down to 9.25. So if you place this one across the bottom, right there on the nine inch mark or right around the nine inch mark, that will work right around in here. And you are gonna to wanna to make sure that there's nothing hanging off on the sides either. So just make sure you tear off these little edges. Once you have done that, we're gonna go back to Design Space and now we're going to click Continue. We're gonna make sure that our Design Space connects to our Joy. And for those that don't know, the Joy does connect via Bluetooth. So if it's not recognizing your machine, you may have to go to your Bluetooth settings and make sure it connects to your computer in general from there. And now I'm just gonna select the medium cardstock setting and we're going to load our mat into our Joy to create our guide. Once it has loaded, we're gonna click go on in design space. There is no play button on the Joy, so we're just gonna click go down here in the corner. And then it will start cutting on our machine. We will then unload the mat, bring it over here, and now you are ready to pull up the masking tape within that four and a quarter and nine and a quarter inch guide. Now that we have our guide ready, let's go ahead and hop back over into Design Space and get all of our stickers ready to print. So I don't want to get rid of this. All I'm going to do to get our stickers prepared is I'm going to take this and change it from a basic cut function to a pen. So once again, that's gonna give us our guide. And I'm now going to go up here to the top right corner. Remember at the top of this tutorial, I told you that we were gonna put it on Cricut Joy. Now we're gonna change it to either a Cricut Maker or a Cricut Explorer series. Now you do not have to have one of these machines to use Design Space within this function, you just need to pick one. So we're just gonna go with Cricut Maker 3 because it's top on the list. And then we're going to grab the stickers that we are going to use. Over here on the Maker's Gonna Learn website, if you will go to Cut Files, and then you can sort all of our cut files by most popular, newest, or alphabetical, we're actually gonna go to our filter function and we're just gonna go straight to Print and Cut and you can view all of the amazing print and cut options that we have. The one that I'm going to be using today is the MGL floral logo. So I'm just going to type that in. We're going to download that. And I'm also going to be using this really cute little cowboy boot. I'm going to use both of these so that I can show you the difference between a print and cut that already has an offset and one that needs an offset. So now that we have those downloaded, we're gonna hop back over to Cricut Design Space. Go over here to Upload. We're gonna Upload Image, browse our recent downloads, and then we are going to drag and drop these into Design Space. Now that we have them both here on the canvas, what we're gonna do is we are going to size them down and we're going to size them so that they will fit within our dimensions. So we may have to zoom in a little bit. Now, as you can see, these will fit perfectly here and we're gonna add more down here, but before we do that, this one, let's go ahead and turn our square back into a basic cut so that you can see where this will cut. It has an outline, so we do not have to add an offset to this sticker specifically. It is already set up, ready to go. However, because we don't really want, we want to give the joy a little room for error, 
we do need to add an offset to this sticker, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to the top, we're going to click offset, and this is where you can choose how large of an offset or how small of an offset you want. Now, one thing, one disclaimer I do want to let you guys know about is that this is not an exact science with this joy, so there may be a chance of it cutting off or cutting a little closer to your sticker, so if you leave a little bit bigger of an offset, you have less of a chance of it messing that up. So I think I might go with a point one and see how that does. Actually, we're going to go with a point oh six because for some reason this file has a little thing here. So I'm going to click apply. And then I'm actually going to change that to a basic cut and contour this little guy out and then that will give us the perfect offset. Now before I move on, I'm actually going to change the color to white. And then once I have done that, I'm going to select the offset and the boot and I'm going to flatten those together. That way it prints together. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the floral MGL logo twice, pull this down and this one here. We're going to duplicate the cowboy boot twice, pull one down here, and then we are going to flip this one horizontally and it should fit here. And once you have all of your stickers arranged, I'm going to go back to this square, change it to a pin function, and you'll see why I'm doing that here in a minute. Now that we have the square turned back into a pin function and cover all of our layers, make sure all of our layers are selected, and you can either attach or flatten. Either one of these will work for this, so you can choose attach or flatten. I have just chosen to attach them. So once they are attached, we are going to go to make it. As you can see, they all move together. And that is exactly what we want. Now we are going to go to continue. We are going to send to printer. We are turning the bleed off using the system dialog and then printing. Now, if you are not used to print and cut, it's going to pull it up behind design space. So we're going to be using our Canon TS9500 series. We are going to feed from rear tray. We are going to do this on photo paper with best quality. Once you have selected all of those, you will be ready to print. Once your stickers have printed, it is now time to cut around the edges. And this is where you can either Use your scissors to cut if you're more comfortable using scissors, or you can use a paper trimmer, whichever one you prefer. But what you are going to do is you are actually going to just cut right on the edge or right around this pin line, okay? One thing I will say is we just recently got this Fiskars paper trimmer and I love it because it does have like a, a piece of wire here that allows you to line up on the line that you need to cut from top to bottom and it is perfect. I love it. Now that we have that cut, we're actually going to hop back to Design Space first. We are going to click Cancel because we're no longer doing anything with that print and cut sheet. Are you sure you want to cancel? Yes. We are going to go back. And now we are going to change this from the Maker 3 back to the Joy. Okay? So now you see that there's little exclamation marks here on all of these features. 
We're gonna make sure that those go away and you're gonna see why here in just a second. We're gonna start with the first one here at the bottom. This says it's a print and cut feature. We're gonna change this back to the pin function. We are going to take our floral logos and we're gonna change them all to basic cut. And it's very, it's key that you do this here in the layers panel and not by clicking our images because what there's a because what could happen is you could move this and we don't want any of these to move so once again floral mgl logo change it to a basic cut now we have all of our cowboy boots that we have to worry about but if you remember we do have an offset on those so we're going to unflatten them we have our offset and our boot we don't need our boot, so we're gonna delete our boot and we're gonna take our offset back over here to operations and change it to a basic cut. And we're going to do this for all of the for all three of these boots. So once again, unflatten, delete the boot, select the offset, operation basic. One last time, just so you get it, we're going to unflatten delete the boot, select the offset, change the operation to basic. Now, this is very similar. This is where our Cricut Joy is going to cut. However, there's one more step because if I were to go to make it right now, this is just gonna put these everywhere. We want them to stay exactly where they are with that pin function because it's gonna place it within that four and a quarter and nine and a quarter guide that we created with our masking tape. So we're going to once again select all of our layers and we're going to attach them. Now, when we go to make it, we're going to select on the mat, four and a half by 12 inch mat, confirm, and it's going to place it exactly where our guide was that we cut. So now we're gonna go overhead we are going to place our sticker sheet within this guide. And we're gonna make sure that we burnish this down. One thing you do want to make sure is make sure that this is placed as perfectly as possible as you can tell, I had already burnished this down, but I didn't feel like it was proper placement. So I'm coming back and laying this back down because this is really gonna be key to how precise your cuts are around your sticker. Now that we have this fit perfectly into our guide, we're gonna hop back over to Design Space we are doing this on the mat and we are connected to our joy. We're gonna be cutting this on medium cardstock. Now, here's where you might need to pay attention because there is not a printable vinyl option for the joy because once again, print and cut is not a true feature for the joy. If you want your stickers to stay on the page but not cut through the backing, then you need to use this at less pressure. If you want it to cut all the way through the backing, then you need this at more pressure, okay? So I'm actually gonna be doing this at more pressure. It's showing you here that it's gonna do the pin function first. We're actually just going to take out that fine point blade and let it work its way around. So we'll hop over here to our joy. And what I'm going to do before I load this is I'm just gonna take this fine point blade out because I don't want this blade to mess with the placement of our sticker sheet. And I'm just gonna close that clamp and then I'm going to load it in. It is going to detect our map to make sure it is on there straight. Once it has done that, you will press go in Cricut Design Space. And then it is going to act like it is drawing all the way around um, the square. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to open up that clamp, place our fine point blade back in there, 
and then hit go again in Design Space. Once that is done cutting, I'm going to unload the mat. And now I'm able to bring it here. And y'all, look at this. Look at these amazing stickers that we were able to cut out using our Cricut Joy. So one thing I will say is the more pressure seemed to cut out some and leave others, but it's just a little bit of a snag here and there, but you'll be able to come through and get that out. And y'all look at these stickers, how cute. One thing I do want to show you is that it did leave a little more of an offset on the bottom than it did the top. Really and truly, there's not a lot of people that's going to notice that and worry about that too much. But like I said in the beginning of the video, this is a workaround, so it is not precise. You just have to be as precise as possible when placing your print and cut stickers within the guide that we made with the masking tape. And that's it. It's kind of a process to get to the final end point, but for those friends that don't have anything but a joy, this is a great hack where you too can do print and cut stickers. So, what are your thoughts on the Cricut Joy Print and Cut hack? Make sure you leave your comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification if you want to be notified every time we get crafty. If you loved learning this hack, make sure to check out this next video so that you can learn all the hacks fast. We will see you guys in the next video.